What are you wearing, Gaynor? Well, uh, I'm Salty Lass and this is a, a Karen Hill saying, if it ever there was one, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> and you had me <laughs> responsible for something. So why are we going round in circles, Beverly? Normal procedure. <laughs> Yeah, great crap, this um, art exhibition. It was a windy day in Abercorn Basin, so we decided to do some cultural stuff instead. What I love about things like this is the fact that it might be old, but it certainly is beautiful. Some incredibly intense colours. All of these are actually related plants. This um, throne was made for Game of Thrones. Isn't it absolutely stunning? Look at the artwork of the swords. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Deadly dragons. Oh, yeah. They are just beautiful. Now this is what you call a head. It's a Tranosaurus Rex. And quite frankly, it has teeth the size of bananas. After the culture, it was time for some gate crashing. There's times that I am totally bad. Beverly, uh, times that so, there are times that I am totally bad. Karen and I have uh, walked into this, um, yeah, gate crack, this um, art exhibition because it had been worth <laughs> Hiya, Karen! Once the free booze was gone, it was time to hit the pubs. Let's go see where we're at. Oh yeah. It was Karen's last day with us before she went home, so the next day we set off in Salty Lass. So why are we going round in circles, Beverly? Normal procedure. <laughs> ferry over there is going out, we were just about to pass it and uh, we spoke to Belfast VTS and they've asked us to hold here in the harbour until the ferry has gone. Oh look at those beautiful circles. Yay! Yay. How is Bev just going round? Waiting for the stem fast. Once we were clear of the ferry, we just had to dodge the other traffic coming in. So Gaynor, what just happened? We've got um, a reef. Oh yeah, we were going to go out into the um, into the Irish Sea again, and um, they've uh, changed the forecast. We've got a strong wind warning on in force. Um, we can see white caps, and we've decided it's back to carry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I think for a place to bum around and just enjoy. Belfast Lock is not bad, you know. <laughs> We've got a reef in the seal, a reef in the jenny, and we're still doing six knots. I um, think we're doing a bit more than that at the moment. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's got a bit gusty and we're not in the schedule. We don't have to be uncomfortable at sea, so why bother? We just go, put our feet up and relax. Pop a cork off a bottle of wine, spaghetti bolognese for dinner. Oh, that sounds like a nice plan, Beverly. That's a brilliant plan. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see a regretter as well. Might well do. Yeah, you never know.
dodge all this lot. <laughs> the only problem is that they've got boats everywhere. And we're going to hopefully dodge going after that one. Yeah. So what have we just done, Gaynor? We've crashed a party, Beverly. <laughs> this time, um, Carrick Fergus's regatta. But, you know, if you ask people nicely, you're surprising where you can go. And it's a great clubhouse, isn't it? I mean, oh. there's, there's this room, there's the outside. You can't complain about any of it. <laughs> We made sure we said hello to the lady who invited us and thanked her for the invite. The party was as much outside the building as inside and it was great to be able to visit. I have got to show you this bathroom. This is the bathroom at Carrick Fergus Marina and you've got little prints on the board. Look at the mirror. Can you see it's in the shape of a sailboat? But for me, the piece to the resistance is the bath. I've just noticed they've got cleats. Look at that. Oh, they're cute. Little cleats. So now that the bubbles are poured, all that's needed to complete it is a little ducky and a book. No idea if it's any good. Whew. Well, I'm all clean. To be honest, I'm a bit like a, a prune because I've been in the bath that long. But it was a lovely bath, but even if I had wanted a shower, look at this place. That is truly huge when it comes to showers. Get my good side. You've got your good side, Dominic. So, Dominic, <laughs> when we were talking, what little uh, things did I tell you that you should do to save some money? Uh, Buy plastic, <laughs> plastic, go into rubbish bins, <laughs> poke, get a plastic bottle, cut it to size and do that. Alright, we'll see that in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've been on camera before, you know. Have you? Yeah. yeah, well, um, as well as that, I um, Dominic was talking to me about fenders. And I and he wants a particular type of fender, and I said, "Well, why don't you just put two ropes through what you've currently got?" So um, it does so that he has a side fender uh, rather than a um, downward fender. I, so, so that was one of the things. But this, this is the piece de resistance as I <laughs> hoking in bins, as Dominic said. But yeah, this is what I suggested he should do to save some money. Uh, because his uh, glass had gone. What's happening today? Oh, finally getting out of uh, uh, Belfast Lock. I have actually enjoyed the time in Belfast Lock uh, because uh, we've done some great sailing um, up and down the lock, across the lock. Um, so we've done some good sailing, but uh, it's time to go. Um, I think we're getting empty feet these days. Yeah. Too long in one place and we're like, I want to move on. And the great thing about this place is, no matter where you go and sail it, you're never more than a couple of miles from a marina. So if the weather turns nasty, you can always get yourself in somewhere. Yeah, and, and there was quite a few anchorages that we didn't we wanted to try, but we didn't quite get to those. But you know, there's anchorages, there's... Um, some good marinas um, and all very reasonable rights as well like um, Belfast 
first um, main marina was 18 quid a night. 18 quid a night. I'm sorry, but another great thing about Belfast Harbour uh, Marina is it's right in the heart of the city. I mean, 18 pound a night, and you're in the centre of town. In the heart of the city, the electric is included. You know, what more do you want for 18 quid? And the only diner about today is that it's flat calm with no wind. I Not know. a dicky bird. I know. Weatherbound. The power station has a reflection in the water. Yeah. We've been weatherbound for a long time in the lot. Um, but now it's basically there's nothing. So it's just. It is what it is. 